Welcome to Maths class you too. In the previous class we have completed our exercise number 2.4. Yes. So today we are going to start. Sorry. In the previous class we have started with our exercise number 2.3. Today we are going to start with our exercise 2.4. So in 2.3 exercise we have compared the numbers and we have uh, completed the arranging of numbers and uh, arranging of numbers through the symbols. Ascending and descending order we have arranged. And we have compared the numbers and using symbols, circle, we have identified the number. Yes, in this exercise we are going to uh, build the numbers. Means this is also like arranging of numbers only but these are of single digit. In the previous exercise we have done with the 4-4 four, four digits, 3-3 three, three digits. But in this exercise we are going to do, deal with the only single digit. Okay, so before starting with this exercise you require your uh, term book. Pencil and eraser. So here today's exercise we will do in term book itself where you have place enough place to write. Okay. So in exercise number two point four, the first bit you have built the greatest four digit number using the given digits without repeating the digits. So here they have given you a few digits and you have to frame the greatest four digit number. Okay, so you have to form greatest four digit number and in this the first one they have given 9, 6, 0 and 1. Okay, so these numbers they have given by using these numbers without repeating the same you have to form the greatest number. See in that only you have the answer greatest the greatest four digit number you have to make. See here they have given individual number. Individual number means how you can identify C. They have given, they have kept a comma between two numbers. So they are individual numbers. Okay. So when you are writing your answer, you should not write any comma between any number. That complete number you have to write together. Then only it will become a four digit number. Okay. And as you are making the greatest number, you have to pick the big number, greatest number first. Then only you have, you can arrange the numbers in the greatest form. Okay. Always if the number is they are saying to arrange in greatest order, so you have to pick all the greatest numbers. So 9601. So which is the greatest number? 9601. Which is the biggest one? Yes, 9. So take number 9 first. Don't write comma after the number. Then 9 over 601. Which is the greatest one? 6. So take number 6. Next 0 and 1. Which is the greatest one? Yes. So 1. So take number 1. So the last number 0 is left. So that number we will take as. Okay. So the greatest number formed with 9601 is 9610. Okay. So this is about your first one. See now the B1, second one. 4, 2, 9, 7. Okay. First we will write the question one more. So in this also you have one more children. So here you have four questions. So in this bit you are having four questions. So three I am doing, only one I am giving you as homework. Okay. So listen carefully children. You have to write your homework also in a correct manner. See, greatest number only you have to choose. So four, two, nine, seven. Which is the big number? Four, two, nine, seven. Which is the big number? Nine. So take nine first. Then... Leave off time, then see other one. 4, 2, 7. Which is the big one? 4, 2, 7. Which is the big one? 7. So take number 7. Don't write any comma in the middle. Okay, now these two numbers finish. 4 and 2. Which is the bigger one? 4, 2. Which is the bigger one? 4. So take number 4. Then the last number left is number 2. Okay, so take number 2. Okay, so the greatest number formed with 4, 2, 9, 7 is 9742. Okay, now we will move on to the third one. So here you have digits as 5, 8, 3, 9. Okay, by from this number you have to find the greatest number. So 5, 8, 3, 9, which is the big number? 9. So take number 9, 5, 8, 3. From this which is the bigger one? 5, 8, 3. So which is the bigger one? 8. So take number 8. 5 and 3. Which is the bigger one? 5. So take number 5. Then the left out number is number 3. So take 
from take number 3. So the latest number formed in third question is 9853. Okay children. So this is the this is about your first bit. So in this first bit, so your number today will be. So in this page, in this 96 page, from this bit to one, you have one homework. Okay. So D1 as your homework. Okay. You can copy down. Now we will move on to the second one. See, second bit is also in the same way, but only the little changes. You have to choose the smallest number. You have to find smallest to four digit number here. Same like previous one only. Smallest to four digit number you have to make. Okay, and in this, as you are making the smallest number, you have to always take out the smallest number only. Okay, so first we will write the digits. Okay, zero before any number. 
number will not have any value zero after a number then only this zero will have the value okay so when you are writing this one you should not take zero first so we will take the from the other three numbers we will take the smallest number then zero you can take in the second place okay so one one eight two which is the smallest number one so take number sorry take number one then then I said no just now zero is left so zero we will take in second place then eight and two from this eight and two we will take the smallest number from this eight and two which is the smallest one yes two is the smallest one then what is left here eight is left so we have completed with our eight so what is the smallest number formed with the zero one eight two one zero two eight so one thousand twenty eight is the smallest number okay. So here by this we have completed our second bit. You can copy down in your term book children easily. So from this, from this B bit also you have one number of B1. Yes, and the third bit we will do. So third bit you have. What you have to do in third bit? Identify the set of digits. Using which the following pairs of greatest and smallest numbers are formed. So here they have given the greatest and smallest number already. Seven three two one and one two three seven. So these digits, these digits, this greatest number and form, smallest number is already formed. But what you have to do? They have given options here. See. What they are given? One, two, three, seven. Then two, three, seven, five. Then one, two, three, four. Yes. So from this four set of numbers, four set of numbers, which digits, which one is uh, used? Which one? Which set of number is used by for forming these numbers? You have to check. Okay, so reverse of your previous bits. They they have given individual numbers and they ask you to form the greatest and smallest numbers. But here they have given you the individual numbers. You have to select which uh, set is used, which set of numbers are used for forming these numbers. Okay, so now what you have to do? You have to check each and every number in this set so that you can find out the correct one. See seven, seven where you have in which set? See in this set seven is not there. Yes. So in this seven is there, okay? So we will see the other numbers are also there or not? Three, yes. Three is there. Two, yes. Two is there. One, no. One is not there. So this is not the correct set, okay? So here already see seven. We did not get seven in this set, so this is not the answer. So first one is rejected. Second one is also rejected. See the third one. First seven is there. Seven is there. Yes, seven is there. Three. Yes, three is there. Two. Yes, two is there. One. Yes, one is there. So all these digits are there in this one. So these set of numbers. So this individual set of numbers are used for forming this greatest and the smallest numbers. Okay, children. So from here, I think you have understood how to. Check and how to identify which set of number is used here. See, simply children, nothing is there. You have to check each and every number in that complete set. Okay? If you find each and every number in that complete set, so that is the answer. If you did not find any number, see, I got two numbers, three numbers in this set, but fourth number is not there. So I said that it is not the set. So I have moved to the next one. Okay? So you also have to do in the same way. So you have to check. The, all the numbers in that bit, in that set. If you have the set, you can, you have to tick for the answer. If all the numbers are not there in that set, you have to move to the next set of numbers. Okay? So, in your A1, so third one will be the answer. So, you have to tick for the third one. Okay, children? So, in your first bit, I have given you one homework. In the second bit, I have given you one homework. In the third bit also, you have B1 and B1. Only one, one question, B1 as your homework. 
Okay, children. So I hope you have understood about today's class. Only we have done here is arranging of greatest and smallest number and which numbers are uh, used, which digits are used for forming the greatest and smallest numbers. We have learned. Yes, I hope every one of you have understood about this in this exercise. So you complete your homework in a very neat and clean manner. And where you have to write, children? You have to write all those homework. All the kids in your term only. Why? Right? Because you have placed there only. You know, now in the class work, in the video also we have completed in the term book only. So all the homeworks, all the bits you also you have to complete in your term book only, children. I will meet you in the next class. Thank you.